Um, and the other, the other one in, in the interest of tier two is uh, like we mentioned before rugby Europe championship we've been which, big proponents of this yeah, yeah this is more hard to find because it rugby is. Europe is a separate entity almost to to world rugby yeah, yeah. yeah. and they have their own it's the brown envelope and also very tedious but not doing highlights either it's very often the full game that's up so yeah. it's like you know, it's a bit annoying but um, but yeah, I actually didn't get a chance to see any of these games. No, no, I, I managed to brush through the. Um, I, I saw the Georgian so, so I saw some of the plays from the Spain Romania game, which was the game of the the round. It, this this tournament does tend to work out such that there's one really juicy fixture yeah, in the round, yeah. and the other two are kind of a bit superfluous feeling just because of the the gulf in class between mm-hmm. some of the sides there. So in in the, this week just gone, Belgium were at home against Georgia. Which resulted in a shellacking. The Georgian with, fan pages I follow though managed to break that game down to some highlights for me, mm-hmm. so I managed to get to see that game as highlights, and it was mm-hmm. good. It was a, it was a good try for that Georgian number seven who's hanging out in the wing. Uh, yes, that lad, know. very quick, very big, physical guy, and they have him out there. Yeah, causing he's, carnage. He's, he's Gorgadze as well, isn't he? No, that's, no, that's number, number eight. eight. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Dodger G's don't ask me his name. No, um, I the Georgian names. <laughs> this We're still going to support <laughs> Georgia, but uh, not by saying yeah. those names. No, is there? It's, <laughs> It's, it's too damn difficult. It is. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, get forty six six. Yeah, but they had some. They, it was it was par, I'd say, for Georgia. But yeah. it, was, it was a good confidence builder. It was nice to see some variety in what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Nice to see them get a bit open and expansive and yeah. be crisp in their use the ball. That's been like yeah. a, it's been a good progression. They seem to have recognized in the last ever since you know that. Um, I think that game that they played in Argentina really taught them a lot from a few years back. Yeah. Do you remember that one? I do. Where they were really, they were in a great run of form and they were they, really But they were actually them. trying to use the ball in that game. They were just they less were, successful. They actually scored some cracking tries did. in that game. Yeah, yeah but it was yeah, just yeah. like they had no control over the pace no. at all. Yeah. So there's a matter of losing the ball, using the ball, which they were trying to do. Mm. But it was also, it was a crazy helter-skelter yeah. Argentinian game instead of a methodical, s- slow, but with... with precision in the strike which is what they're lacking really now because they like they yeah. have a mantra and a game plan that is right and they need to stick to yeah, it. Yeah. but what they need to be trying to work in is a clinical edge that can see them over the line well, one of the things tighter games one of the one of the one of the sort mm-hmm. of variations that they have worked in is mm-hmm. the rapid exit so mm-hmm. one of the things that they did so well against spain mm-hmm. was um they had they had the spanish sort of locked down their own 22 for mm-hmm. ages wearing them down and wearing them down and they got a score Spain kicked off to them. Now, previously, your Georgia probably would have attacked more or less the same wherever they were on the field and kicked the ball if things weren't going well. Mm-hmm. But they actually took the ball, went insta-wide to their mm-hmm. big number seven, made huge gains, got right back into the 22 where they were, and, and then slowed, slowed it, down. it down. And it was like, Spain were like, okay, they scored, but we're out of here. Let's mm-hmm. go. And then they were right back, back down there. And then like, Georgia were in no hurry yeah, to score again, but yeah, they were going exactly. to score It's again. one of the worst feelings as a player when you're getting dominated and you're spending forever in your own 22. And then you, you, you get scored on, and then you're like, okay, we're getting back into this. And then, like, you just wake up from a haze two minutes later, and you're exactly where you were. And you're like, oh, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. And then you just have yeah. to make more tackles, and it's just, it's tiring. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and Georgia are experts of that game and sapping, sapping the strength. But yeah, they just need a, a precision in some of their wide play that it's very hard to gain any insight in by putting a, low a, bel- a score Belgium. on Belgium. That's true. You know, yeah. other than just not seeing them nice to see them. Nice to see, yeah. No, like, like the fact that they did that, like this is where like if it was 26-6, you'd be concerned. Yes. Whereas it wasn't, it was 46 and yeah. about par, as you yeah. say. So it's, it, we roll on, we can't really judge. The Spain-Romania match would be more consequential were it not for last year's antics. I know, this would be, they're out of the cycle. But yeah, um, yeah they, it, it, it's baffling, but uh, Spain's still getting the win, 21-18, and 18, just over... Uh, a kind of dogged Romania that really did want the, want the W they're motivated because it's like this is all they're playing they for they have been all year to be fair so yeah, yeah, come back with a bit of a bang it's, but it's, it's just certain, not getting the W's no it's yeah. not and the Romanian rugby continues to slide, slide, a, little slide a little bit and meanwhile Spanish rugby does seem to be in the ascendancy and I would fully expect them to be involved in next World Cup yeah they, they can and potentially even like be competitive to a tier two and beyond level but just because of the rate of growth I've seen and the fact that there's four more years to go then yeah. before they're back in it so they it, can know. afford now what the the robbery or whatever you want to call it or the mm. player ineligibility gate mm-hmm. um, has afforded them now is the ability to think long term yeah 
Um, they have not. They don't. The World Cup is obviously so massive for these teams. They learn so much from it. They get some good revenue from mm-hmm. it. Uh, it's huge exposure for development in the in the game itself. True. It's a blow that they're not in it, but now they can lay the foundations for building towards qualification and yeah. beyond over the next four years, and mm-hmm. they can start that pretty early. Yeah. Um, and a win over Romania, not so bad. They're still kicking along. Yeah, um, definitely. They yeah. got. I read somewhere they got a little look from a key decision and a key moment or right, a little okay. try that went to the TMO or something. Okay. That there was contention, as there always is there's in this often, fixture. Yes, it's for fast sure. becoming one of the great European tier two rivalries. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Spain, Romania, Spain, Romania. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the unlikely foes. Yeah, indeed. But uh, and then other news then Germany. Uh, kind of put push, up more push, fight than you'd push, ever than you would expect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, eighteen points to Russia's twenty six. Yeah, um, yeah as Russia. Big a day for the Germans is that time they were nil all with Samoa for six whole minutes of a match <laughs> before losing by fifteen. <laughs> yes, indeed. But uh, uh, yeah, no. So first it's, like, it's also concerning for Russia, who do have obviously World Cup relevance now because they're yeah, managed to thrust in there. Thrust in there. So yeah, um, they they'll have a lot to work on off the back of that. That's probably a disappointing showing from them. The ultimately. game against uh, Romania this weekend. That's a big game. As the Romania in Romania, right? Okay. That's a big game for both. I think Romania will be super motivated in Russia. Romania that's a benchmark for Russia. Good. Yeah, yeah. There, it's actually that's a, that's the probably the juiciest fixture fixture of next week then because yes, Georgia yeah. at home against Germany, where, where I, I suspect Germany won't be putting up. Anywhere near as much of a fight <laughs> I suspect you as they right. just did, and then Spain also home Georgia against Belgium. Yeah, nah, that's that's, that's the that Belgium that was the game last year that that, that was threw it all into actually. Madness. There is a little bit of intrigue is yeah. the fact that like Spain will now illustrate all the ridiculousness of it, where we'll have a nice neutral German ref <laughs> and Spain <laughs> wouldn't will do put no an wrong absolute anyway. score on yeah. on this Belgian team and be able to go. You see, you see. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, and maybe it might rekindle all of that again in Mugabe. I doubt, I doubt it, though. I think it's, it's all it's water, water under the, the burnt now. bridge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, Georgia, you'd expect to do Germany. Spain, you'd expect to do Belgium. Georgia actually might have the liberty of um, squad rotation, yeah. which is a nice it's place a nice to be. Yeah, they, they often do. They don't have the luxury of playing competitive fixtures that might actually the prepare them for the World Cup That's in a more problem. real way. Yeah. The, no, this is a useless fixture in terms of World Cup prep for them. Yeah. The last two weeks, it's just it's no prep yeah. for the it Wales. They're still going in fire and a bit blind. And like are, what happened? I, like that's why the the game against Italy was so interesting in that regard. And that was my my feeling going into it was that it wasn't good for Georgia because even though Italy had gone to Soldier Field and showed up and took the money and done nothing on the pitch and been abject in everything, just for that hit out alone they were much better and more organised and sharper the week after whereas yeah. Georgia were a bit blunted and not to the pace they of the game they do get to host Scotland in Tbilisi the first yeah. time a tier 1 team has come to Georgia and, and it's all just do f- props to the Scottish Rugby Union yeah. because they didn't have to do that no, and it's, it's, it's good that they've done that it'll be they'll get a great crowd for it mm-hmm. and that'll be proper some proper prep for yeah. both sides it's also it's got the little intrigue it's probably a sense of wisdom in that it's like it's it's obviously nowhere near the same scale but in terms of styles it's diet Ireland yeah. so it might be a, a, an interesting thing just to trial a few mm-hmm. you know ways to negate some of the things that Georgia and Ireland might do in terms of how they try and control the pace of a game and see yeah. if it works sure, in Tbilisi yeah. Yeah. and then maybe get a feel for what they're going to do against Ireland so it's mm-hmm. not the worst tactical decision either to go yeah. out and play Georgia yeah, in true. terms of stylistically True, yeah, yeah, um, but uh, yeah, it's also just fair play, like you're saying, more pro- well, first and foremost, fair play to them because yeah. they don't have to do it. It's a risk of injuring Hamish Watson a few weeks before the World Cup in a, a, a mauling situation. Which George, George guys, won't be taking it easy, no, they will not, <laughs> and nor should they. They don't know the meaning of that. taking it, they were easy. ripping English guys' heads off in front of children just a week ago, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Open training. So desperate session. they are for a competitive game. Yeah, they'll come to England to scrum on a training paddock with just with, to punch Carl Sinclair. <laughs> now I can't blame them on that front at no. all. <laughs> He's a very punchable man. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's um, it's it's just an unfortunate situation for 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 Georgia, and this is all the more reason we can just gonna hark back to the point we made earlier on. If anyone's still listening to the full contextual <laughs> kind of conversation, but um, yeah. This proposed World League that we were thinking would be with, much better for Georgia. Much better for Georgia, where yeah. it would be in a division with three other 
similar similar caliber teams. They're in a position they'll be playing fixtures. Yeah, they're in a position right now where in that empty November window they play mm. one fixture usually. Yeah. They don't even bother making a tier two fixture. There's no yeah. value in it. Indeed. Um, so so what's the point in all that? It's yeah. That, that's the point. That's mm. the broken window. Just mm. fix that and mm. we'd set it. Thank you very much for watching that video. If you're new here, please like and subscribe down below and uh, leave a comment as well because we enjoy the chat and conversation. Thank you.